Um, and like I said, we'll be re revisiting it basically. Uh, you get the crust by just getting the yeast to rise, roll it out, uh, put, the or put the filling in, put the top on, let it rise again mm -hmm. into the oven. Just. And the Cumberland was also really, really good. Uh, the, the, the fish, yeah, the yeah. fish, it's hard to say one I didn't like. I think closest to, eh, was the uh, the curry pies, curry cauliflower and, and potato pies. Mm. Least favorite out of it. The Natchitoches meat pies were good. That was the first pie we made for this set of recipes that was fried. Yes. And that, we were like... Oh my God, yes. fried pies are so much better than, than baked pies. Indeed, so. <laughs> uh, and the samosas, they were not, they don't look that good, but it turns out the way I was making them was pretty much what they say to do. Uh, you make the cone, put the filling in and pinch it. Um, so we'll be making those up. We'll be frying those up today. But the big piece is uh, our requested recipe uh, for the sea bass. But as I've confessed many, many times, I like pie a lot. And I think originally my intention, retirement business, was to make sausage and like be making pies. Could be interesting. But, okay. So let me get a few things set up here. I have my pans. Put that up there. It's got nice, good butter, good bit of butter on it. Can you tell I had uh, some Mountain Dew? <laughs> My mouth's going a mile a minute. I'm gonna go put this back in the freezer till serving time. All the pies we had, the surprise pie I had out of it all, the one I liked when I didn't think I would like it, the tomato pie. Mm, yeah. It, it's not a pizza. It was a pie crust filled with uh, chopped tomatoes or sliced tomatoes and cheese. Um, and it, it's apparently a Philadelphia tradition. Uh, my mom had a recipe for it in her box. We put it together, and when it first came out, it just went. Mm -hmm. But what we're finding with a lot of the pies is they need time to set up. Mm -hmm. um, it was much better the next day after it had chilled in the fridge and yep, we congealed. Could, it, it did congeal, and yeah. it was so much better. Uh, I tried it cold. I tried it warm. Both ways. You wouldn't have recognized it. Uh, parchment paper. I'm no longer losing spoons. Now I'm losing parchment paper. Is anyone seeing the fire cam is frozen? Besides me? Mm. I did make it smaller so we, people could see. Okay, Ginger says right, yes. Let's do this. This sometimes. Frozen fire. Yeah. We stuck it in the freezer too. Yeah, it's. Um, what I suggest is exit, re enter the app. Okay. I can do that. We use a program called Epic Cam on a, an iPhone. And sometimes you have to kick it in the head. I don't want my fire frozen. Forget how I left it. Yes, I'm glad I checked. It's plastic lined. was made with the other puff pastry. And I'm going to go check to see if this gets egg wash or not. What's the thing we did with the egg wash? Oh, that was the, uh, these guys. 
So I'll have to make up an egg wash anyway. Cody, you're going to stand right in front, aren't you? Uh-huh. They're here to see him. Back. <laughs> How's that? It's focusing. Looks better here. It's a moving. Okay. Thank you, love. 